welcome back to the colorful saddle channel how are you guys doing so here it's like where's the summer gone a couple of weeks ago we had such nice weather i was using shorts and dresses and it's like now raining and cold like we are in july it's supposed to be sunshine i don't need like 30 degrees every day but a little bit warmer would be nice so today i'm gonna talk about my pins i will give you a little bit of a brief story how they started and which kind of pins there is actually video part two will be about my non-trader pins which i have quite a lot so like i mentioned in my t-shirt video i started my t-shirt collection i did not want pins but then you kind of meet a lot of people and what these people usually trade is pins not t-shirts so i was like let me start I started buying some, I actually had in this little box until I realized that's not really viable. So I invested in a pin bag. I got it out of Amazon. The thing was, I checked Amazon Germany, Amazon UK. I could only find it in Amazon US. So the bag is actually not that bad. They, they are like this, where you can put the pins here and everywhere. It's nice, it protects them. And that's where I had all my pins in the beginning. So I had all my pins there, the trade ones and non-trade ones. And then I realized people would ask me, oh, can I have this one? Can I have this one? I was like, oh, those, that one I don't trade, that one I don't trade. So it was a little bit difficult. So what I did is I invested in a second bag. I got the second one from Amazon US. So I had then a bag of non-trade pins and a bag of trade pins. So I would make it very clear to people, these ones I do trade, these ones I don't trade. So there's no mistaking. And then on June 14th this year, our talk actually turned 50 because the first one opened in, on June 14th, 1971 in Hyde Park in London. And actually our talk has an online shop and they were having a sale because of their 50th year anniversary. And they were selling these ones. You can see there's the logo here and inside when you bought the bag, you would get an exclusive pin for the 50th. The thing is, I ordered it. I actually ordered two of them. They are actually very, very sturdy, very good, uh, obviously better than the Amazon ones. The price was not that bad. And because it was the 50th anniversary, they had a little like sale. So the bag itself was not on sale, but you did have free shipping costs. Because usually when I buy something from there, I need to pay like $20 or something just for shipping. So I bought two of them. And the good thing, it came with this one too. So you can take it on your shoulder. So that's awesome. So in the meantime, what I decided to do is my non-trade pins I would put in the new art hog bag and the trade pins I will leave it in the Amazon one. And let's see how the thing go from there. So art hog has a lot of different prints, obviously. So one of the most things they have, for example, a couple of categories. They have the collectible ones, which every cafe and hotel have. And usually they are the whole year round available. And they are the logo ones where I'll post some pictures. They are the pick ones with something from the city. There's a bunch of them. I personally do not buy usually any of them. The logo ones does not interest me. If one is a little bit different and I like it, I will buy it. I love, love, love pins with ladies. Uh, so if I see a collective one with ladies and I like it, I would buy it. But usually that's not my cup of tea. They are a little bit too traditional to normal. I like something a little bit different. So you have the collectible ones and then you have usually the limited edition ones. So the limited edition ones, I will post a video here in the back. Usually it says limited edition and it should say at least a new batch, how many of them were produced. So you know how many exactly of this pin there is around the world or being sold or whatever. I like usually the limited edition ones, obviously not all of them. I don't buy all of them. I do like them. And then Usually when the hotel or cafe opens, they have this grand opening pin. They are very, very, very so They usually do not produce that many of them. And as soon as it's done, it's done. I know for a fact, usually the grand opening pins are sold out within two to three months, depending where the cafe or hotel are located. People go crazy for them. And then every year they will do the anniversary pin, first anniversary, second, and so on and so forth. I have a couple of them as well. Usually I do not trade them because they are so, so special. The anniversary ones do not sell out usually as fast as the grand opening, let's be honest. And then this is a very, very, very special one. So when the hotel or cafe opens, they have the staff or the employees that make the grand opening. They make as well staff grand opening pins. They're a little bit different than the grand opening. The thing is, this is not to be sold to the public. Just the staff gets it. If the employee decides to sell to you personally, that's your personal choice. I have a couple of friends that did a grand opening in the different hotels and cafes. They do have the pin and they showed it to me. And I was like, oh, it's cool. 
And then there's also the charity pins. So for example, when they make a Freddie Mercury pin, usually the proceeds of that pin would go to the Freddie Mercury Foundation. And I've done, I've seen the ones from John Lennon, the Bruce Springsteen and so on and so forth. They usually make pins and t-shirts as well. And then where Art Rock makes their, I think a lot of money in my opinion, is with the series. I personally do not collect series because I find it so difficult to try to find all of them. And if I don't all of all of them, I'm gonna get stressed. So I decided no series. If I just find a cool one from a series that I like, I will buy it, but I do not buy the whole series. I find that so crazy. A lot of the pins as well, you find the online shop. Sometimes they are not available on the cafe or hotel. They are just available to the shop. So for example, one series that I do have some pins of, not all of them, it's called the dessert series. So the dessert series is was mainly done in Europe. So if you go, I don't know. So if you go to Hamburg, they have this one, which is, I'm not sure really what it is. It's I think rice with something. And these are limited editions. So in the back, it says 300. So 300 were made of this. And then I come from Portugal. So I did get the dessert series from Porto in Lisbon, but I find the Lisbon one the nicest. And it's this one. It's like this very, very famous Pastel de Nata or Pastel de Belay from Lisbon. I find it so, so cute. But they did a bunch of them for a bunch of different series in Europe. I bought them every time I saw them, obviously, and if I like them. For example, in Switzerland, the Davos one, it's like a guitar, but in form of a bar of chocolate. So that's how they make money with the series. I also have a pin. I will post a picture here. It's called Halloween pin. The house, I will also put a picture here. It's formed of different pins from different places. Like... It takes you so long to get this series as well, so that's why I don't get it. I had one, in the meantime I have traded, they had these Zodiac Girls online, it was an online exclusive. I'm a Gemini uh, Zodiac, so I did buy the Gemini Girls, and then I had somebody who's like, can you actually have it? And I said, yeah, it's fine, because I he had a really cool one I wanted as well. And so it was kind of like, yeah, you can have it, but you could buy the whole Zodiac sign. So that's how they make their money, or forming, I bought a series of pins in Las Vegas. I will post a picture here. So there's two pins that form a yin and yang together. You don't have to buy the two of them, but if you just buy one, you have half of the yin and yang. What makes the sense of that, you know? So this whole pin world, it's it's huge. People go really crazy for it. I do have some pins sometimes that I buy just to trade, or if I like one of them, I just buy one or two extra because oh, maybe somebody is interesting to trade. Because that's the thing, that's how you trade pins. Part of a couple of Facebook groups where people post what they are looking for. If you have any of them, you can contact them. I have some friends that sometimes go on vacation. And like I mentioned, they buy me the t-shirt, but sometimes they get me a pin or something. I have a very good friend of mine. She texted me the other day. She was like, oh, you know, next week I'm going to Madrid. There's a cafe there. I have everything from the cafe. But the hotel just opened two or three weeks ago. And I said to her, look, if you can get me a t-shirt, great. If there's still some opening pins, please meet my me one. And if you have time, make a photo of the pin so I can decide what I want. Yes, I'm very demanding. And I, that's why I say, if you have time, make me a photo. I usually circle which ones I like and they buy it and I bring them the money and everything. So the pin world, that's why I did not want to get into it. It's so big. It's so, uh, you know, people go really crazy about it. And you can never, you can't stop, you know. It's as soon as you start, that's why I did, like I mentioned, I did not want to start series, so I don't go crazy for it. Another cool thing is like the new pins come with these like plasticky black things in the back. But in the beginning it was not like this. So I have this pin from 2002 from Bali. It's a Santa Claus. I don't know if you guys can see it. And in the back, it's like this. It's still metal, the back. But I have another one. This one is from the Toronto Skyport. It's been closed for years and it's a little... You see, it's a little needle. I still like the new version the best. I think it works pretty well. Obviously, you sometimes lose the little back things a lot, but you can buy a little bags at the shop itself when you don't have that many. And I will show you this one. I will make pictures of them as well. This is the sixth anniversary from Lake Tao Cafe, which in the meantime has been closed. So this one, I think, has a lot of um, valuable. That's the other thing. If you have a pin from a place that's been closed, really look at it differently because... You cannot get that pin anymore and people might try to look for it. That's the other thing. The grand opening pins, when they are sold out, a couple of years later, or sometimes even months later, you're selling them on eBay, on Amazon, people trying to sell them for like 
much more money. People, like I mentioned, go crazy. I've met some, they call that pin masters. They have like Excel lists on their phone of what they are looking for, what they have, what they don't have, what it's coming new. They like go crazy. I do try sometimes, for example, I live next to the Davos one, like I mentioned. I have the grand opening from there and I have the first, second and third anniversary. If I'm still in Davos in the next couple of years and the next anniversary comes on, I'll probably buy it. That's the thing. Those ones, I kind of buy it if I find them cool. I've happened, I went to Tenerife, the hotel, and they still had the grand opening and anniversary ones. I bought them, but they were not really, in my opinion, aesthetically pleasing. So somebody wanted to try them. I was like, yeah, I could take them. So that's the thing that I like some of them and some of them don't. A little thing also, sometimes, like I mentioned, when my friends go somewhere, what my friends might like, maybe sometimes is not my taste. I have this pin I'm going to show you. This one I'm never going to trade. This, I think the name is a carnification flower or something like this. It's a red flower. So for these people, this is actually a cafe. Uh, it's from the Lisbon one. For a lot of people, it's just a flower, you know, pin. The thing is, for us Portuguese, this means something. So in the 60s and 70s, we were under a dictatorship and we were our, you know, revolution and liberty was the April 25th, 1975. And this flower got known as the revolution flower. This was like huge, you know, because they use it as a revolution and all that stuff. That's why when this pin came out, I was not in Lisbon and I could not get a hold of it. I was like, I really, really, really want it because this pin means something to me, you know, as a Portuguese person. And then I found the pin master and he was, I was like, oh my God, can I have it? Please, please, please. Can I have it? And he said, yeah, I can have it. I have an extra one. I was like, awesome. Thank you. So that's how I got it. I traded. But like I said, it looks so simple. It's just a flower. There's not much to it. But for me, it means something. And usually that's how they, they come in this little thing. And this says anniversary or collectible or limited edition and so on and so forth. They also do pride pins, which I really like as well. Not all of them. I have like maybe four or five pride pins. I do like, I love, love, love a good Freddie Mercury pin. Usually in September because it's Freddie Mercury's um, birthday. They do you know, sell some stuff, which I really like. And you know, it goes for charity. So it's for a good cause. So this is a little bit of introduction to my pins, the trade ones, the non-trade ones will be coming next part two. I will be showing them. I actually photographed them all already. It took me, it took me a while, but I thought, you know, I could take them out, photograph them and transfer in the new bag. As you can see, some of them I have done. I like to put them nice and pretty. And some of them I haven't had the time. For example, this one you can see is a pride pin. I really like them. My Freddy! <laughs> so this is the craziness of my pins. My boyfriend actually likes more the pins because they take less space at home. The t-shirts take a little bit of space, let's be honest. One time he asked me, oh, how much money do you think you've spent? And I was like, no, la 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 la. Don't want to think about it. It's a hobby. I've spent, yes, a lot of money, but you also spend a lot of money in your Playstations and stuff. Let me be. I don't want to think about it of much of money I've spent. So just leave it at that. If you have any questions, please comment down below, like and subscribe and see you next time, guys.